that little girl. Look at her. She's putting some weight back on. Yeah, she's doing really good. Doing really good. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Uh, so here we have a box opening. <clears throat> Big old box from Denver Dolls. Uh, this is my first full set doll that I've ever ordered. Um, I've, I've never bought a full set doll before. And uh, this is the um, uh, Fairyland Mini Fee, my, my uh, Russian Maiden full set. Uh, and I looked it up to see it's the designer complete, okay? Uh, and um, I know that I definitely am not the first one to open her Maya, uh, and so you guys have been seeing them, but uh, I thought I'd share this, um, and uh, I actually, this actually, today is Monday, which is, I have Mondays off, and um, this came in at the beginning of my work week, which is usually, I usually start working either Wednesday or uh, Thursday depending on the week but anyways she came in um, I would have had like an hour to do a box opening but she arrived she arrived like at six o'clock at night which I'm just like oh so by that time it's time to have dinner and go to bed um, and get ready for work so um, so I um, I'm really glad that I waited to open her so that I could do it on camera um, and not have to rush and uh, it just, it, it felt, feels like a reward um, for making it through the work week. Uh, so um, I am really excited and happy to share this. <clears throat> ah, okay, so there's that. And so there's bulldogs all around and as soon as I started talking, they rushed in with their bones. <laughs> so I'm sorry for that. Okay, make sure there's nothing here that says. So that's what that looks like. Make sure no addresses there. Yeah, that's my invoice there. Um, but cool, look at it. Get rid of some of this paper. <clears throat> So I am just getting over a um, bad upper respiratory flu thing um, and really severe laryngitis. So I'm still a bit froggy. I'm sorry if I croak a little bit, but this is way better than uh, what it was last week. Um, okay, so you can see there she is under there and um, Denver Doll Emporium. Um, and they've got their new Denver Dolls got their new website and uh, it's not what I would say is I, I it's not my favorite um, on the mobile phone it's really difficult to navigate on the mobile phone but it's not too bad on the PC uh, but now you can actually order things uh, so that's my my invoice I try to keep that now I try to keep all that stuff I never I'm, I wish that I would have stayed organized <laughs> so here is a uh, mini fee Maya designer complete Russian maiden so that's probably like her outfit and stuff I bet and so I'm just gonna get this big box out of here <clears throat> I usually keep the shipper boxes uh, that my dolls come in, but the ones from Denver Doll never come in a actual fitting. <laughs> they, they never come in like a fitting ship, shipper box, so I just toss those. I don't keep those. But um, let's unwrap this. And so there she is. We will, maybe we'll start with this. Let's see, is this tape shut? No, it's not. <clears throat> okay, oh my goodness. 
I'm so excited, so excited. Okay. Oh, there is. Um, I keep that now too with the with the regular COA. Um, I, I wish I would have been a lot more organized about this from the very beginning. Okay, so I can see um, here is the uh, event head, and this. I think that this is this my first event head. I think this might be my first mini fee uh, or fairyland event head. Oh, she's really cute. She's got little teeth. Um, oh, she is. I really like her. The only thing that I was sad about was that um, uh, they didn't give the option. I would have paid to upgrade her to a tan skin but I don't think that they are offering that. Okay, so she's uh, jury 2019. Because um, I think on the website they're calling her like winter or fall event head. Um, I really like her. She is really... So the, the only thing that I uh, was hoping was that I would have been able to get her in, um, in tan because I just generally am prefer preferring to... Um, if I'm going to go through the effort of getting her body and stuff, um, that I would prefer uh, to go with tans. So that's kind of my thing going forward is fantasy colors or, or tans uh, to go to add to my collection. Just because I have such a big collection <laughs> that uh, I those that's the one kind of big restraint I put on myself is tans or fantasy colors. So here is. Her dress um, so I kind of had thought in my mind that all I was interested in was the shoes and her crown so we'll see how I feel once I actually open this up um, if I still uh, feel that way um, so here is so this is this is supposed to be a Russian maiden. It is supposed to be her theme, and this is very, this is very Fairyland esque. <laughs> um, it's very beautiful. Um, oh. I'm just looking at how it's made. Uh, oh, okay. So here it's got. So open it up here and it's got a, <clears throat> um, is it attached? No, it's not attached. So here is uh, the underskirt, which is very pretty. Um, and then the overdress. Very pretty. And see how it's constructed in here actually just a surged edge there interesting um, I got some Volks outfits in recently that I wish I would have opened on camera because and maybe I'll still do a review of those just because um, I had a lot to say about the construction good and bad uh, of those outfits and I don't know if people would be interested in that sort of review, <laughs> like of clothes and outfits. As I've um, started sewing more and more, I have definitely more of an opinion on how things are constructed. Um, here are some little panty underwear thingies, um, uh, like little hot pants. <laughs> Uh, they look like they're made out of maybe a stretchy material and then her arm um, and I <laughs> uh, I've been meaning to make some outfits because I love uh, I've seen that with Volks outfits and with Fairyland outfits in general that uh, instead of constructing sleeves that are attached to a bodice um, they're, the sleeves are separate <laughs> and I really like that because that would make construction a little more easy and less bulky uh, so I'll have to look up what this is, uh, look up pictures of her outfit because I want to say that this looks like it might go, would this go around her neck or something? Um, I'll have to look it up and see. Oh, okay.
Okay, so this was probably <laughs> the thing that I was like most excited about and wanted. Um, and if I see any for sale on the secondhand market, I will probably try and buy them too if anybody ever tries to sell their crown. Um, that is gorgeous. So it's it's cast in this, uh, what I would call uh, yellow ochre uh, resin. So yeah, that's, that's cast, that's not painted. So it's not blushed or painted in any, in any way. Not that I can see. I don't think it's blushed, uh, but it's very beautiful. And I don't think it isn't. I don't think it really needs blushing. Um, it's very ornate and gorgeous. Wow, that's so pretty. And it's got. See, I wondered how it would stay on. So it's got these magnets uh, here to for it to stay on. Um, yeah, I got this, and I was kind of <laughs> wanted to try it on uh, my. Uh, did they disappear? <laughs> I think it's going to be a little on the big side, but maybe I could install some magnets and, um, oh, that's so pretty. That is definitely a Hurla. Oh my gosh. Okay, that might happen. Poor uh, poor Maya's already getting her stuff stolen. <laughs> but I definitely if I if I see one of those on the second hand market, I definitely want to buy another one. Um, okay. And are these the shoes? The shoes are really beautiful too. I was very excited about them. And I'm not sure So I don't know if that's, uh, this does look like it's painted. I can't tell. I think so. I think this is airbrushed. I don't know if these were two different pieces that they constructed and glued together, like the sole and the top part. And then this is a separate part that's put on there. Um, all seems to be resin. So I think that that is, that is painted and blushed. Um, yeah, especially when you look kind of in the inside. So those are beautiful. And these are the ones that, uh, they, I, I do like these. <laughs> I thought at first when, when they first started this thing where the, the bag, you replace their whole foot to have a shoe. I didn't like that, but I mean, you can't try, other dolls can't steal it, of course, um, which is a, a downfall, but I do like them. Um, and I have a few different pair of those now <clears throat> from different full sets. <clears throat> uh, so this is the wig and I am not very big anymore on synthetic wigs. I pretty much prefer to get uh, natural fiber wigs for my dolls. Um, but uh, this is, is this my, yeah, this is my first mini fee wig. This is the, yeah, I, I, I don't have, I, I don't have any full set or mini fee wig. Um, and I don't know. We'll try. I mean, we're going to put her, she's going to be in her whole outfit. Um, it is really pretty, but to me, that's just like the, the synthetic wigs. It's just a style. Um, I, I feel like it really like this. I feel like is very in keeping with like more anime type dolls um, and and anime illustration. I feel like I feel like it's very um, stylized like that. You know, just the 
like this is the realistic representation <laughs> of anime drawings if that if that makes sense it's a, a graphic representation <clears throat> um, if that makes any sense if I am just confusing everybody <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm going to get everything out of here and then remove this box. Oh, that is so pretty. Here, let's just try this on her for a second. There, so. So it stays on with those magnets. Uh, This. Hi, Lola. <clears throat> okay. Here she is. I love Minifi boxes. Made in Korea. They're very, very nice boxes. There was that, uh, uh, if you were a doll tag that was going around and like what kind of box would you have and uh, I better have a box if I was a doll I would want a mini fee or fecal 60 basically a fairyland style box because um, like look at the construction on that like it's very sturdy very and then uh, foam cutouts so that the doll is as protected as they could be um, so mini fee, uh, <clears throat> um, and, uh, COA. So, uh, and I, I am trying to, <laughs> uh, I fill this out now. I'm sure to fill out all of the information on here now, um, as well as keeping the, uh, the invoice and trying to keep it all together, <laughs> um, because, uh, See her? She is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Is this something? Oh, I think it's just bubble wrap. Oh, she didn't come with the big boobs though. Was that not a maybe maybe that didn't maybe she didn't come with the big boobs. Man, I, I do not have good luck getting the big boobs, guys. <laughs> I am a bit disappointed in that. Hmm. That's too bad. I want the big boobs. But I know the full sets, they come with what they come with. So this thing that I set aside was a, a pair of high-heeled feet. Um, they usually put a sticker on that, and they didn't. So I, whenever I order a doll, I try to order um, high-heeled feet and some hands, potentially, too. Um, I don't think you can order hands. Maybe, oh, I, no, I'm, I'm not. You can. You can order hands through Fairyland, um, but your, your doll is always going to come with these hands, which are, I forget the number. Um, they're always going to come with these, but through Denver Doll, you, they have some in stock. And some that you can order. Um, and last I checked, uh, I recently did a tan hand order. Um, let's get a good look at you, sweetie. I am a little bummed about the boobs. I am. Um, so uh, if anybody out there wants to trade for a bigger bust tanned girl, um, uh, and either the new A-line renewal body or uh, a fairy line body, because this is A-line, right? Yeah. Uh, with the big bust. If so, if somebody out there would like to trade me that. <laughs> um, but, oh, her face is. So her makeup is gorgeous. Wow. I am really, wow. So, so pretty. And unfortunately, my light is still broken. Let me see here. Shine it here. <laughs> my own head out of there. 
So she's got the premium eyes. She is so pretty. Yeah. Um, wow. Excuse me, Olive. Bring your bone over here to look at. Um, wow, I'm I'm really impressed um, with this uh, with this doll. Uh, like I'm I'm looking around her for seam lines and um, like her legs don't have any. Okay, there's one there, but I can hardly see it. Like it, I'm really I mean I can't find one at all on the on the thighs. Um, wow. So she's really she's a really beautiful doll. She's really gorgeous. Uh, the typical little the sanding mark right at the top of the head. But, wow. So I can see a little bit of a seam line on the inside of her leg here. But, wow, this is, she's really amazing. She's gorgeous. She's really beautiful. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to get her dressed up in her outfit. Um... And it's funny, I bought her uh, high-heeled feet, but I, I do need them for other dolls, so that's okay. Um, but she's got the shoes <laughs> that take her feet, so. Um, uh, and I, I'm going to find those hands that I bought uh, from Denver Doll and change out her hands. Um, I don't mind, I don't mind this one. Um, like for me, these are the hand these are the hands that I choose for the boys. <laughs> they're just not I think there's more elegant hands. Um they're they're nice hands and they have beautiful nails. These would be really good for blushing, but I really, really like the really fine nail ones. So okay. Uh I will be back in a few minutes. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm here on Fairland website, uh, and yeah, the full set comes with a um, large bust, not full bust. So, Tina, uh, I do have a tan and Chloe that I put on my way. Um, if you don't move around, uh, she's coming here. And uh, so, she's got a full bust here. Um, but, uh, she's had good scriptures on. So, uh, I love it, and I think it is a little round of her neck. Oh, they're all in. All is doing good. Uh, she's eating again, she's pleased, and waiting on, very happy. Um, she's very, very safe here for about two and a half weeks. We're seven months from about it. Uh, she's in the way, and we're doing everything good. We haven't seen her since we got to school seven months. Um, but as long as she's fine, um, I actually mean that she's fine with her. And, um, yeah, she's doing really good. She's doing good. She's eating food. Um, She's just like, I don't know, 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 I don't Okay, so this is around. Oh, this one's going to be bigger. Oh, yeah. Let's 
Have you ever been missing that one? Oh, these ones. Oh, these ones. They're dingy. There. Got her little apron thing. Uh, she kind of looks like Glenda, the good witch. <laughs> Doesn't she? <laughs> little Glenda. Um, I think she's really pretty. She's really gorgeous. I would... I would like to make a variant of this dress though, but with a with a short skirt. Um, yeah, I definitely feel inspiration and things I would I would like to do with her. Um, clothes wise, sew something for her, a little more individual. Um, I actually do kind of like this wig. Um, So I have, um, I have, um, I think I have pretty much have all of Hanukkah's full set and might put this wig on her. I don't know. We'll see. I'll play around. Um, but there is that possibility that I might sell this set except for the, um, the crown because that was like the main part I wanted of it. But, uh. Yeah, she is very gorgeous. She is very, very gorgeous. Um, the face up is amazing. I'm not sure if I know that they they did the the Maya Valkyrie. If it, it's the same sculpts, but I don't know if it's the same face up. Um, but uh, I really like her too. I like the full set, but I don't know if I necessarily want enough two Mayas. Uh, but yeah, I really like her. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about maybe selling her body and trying to just buy one from Fairyland with the big bust. Um, I don't know. Uh, I do like her. It, and this, this body is really beautiful. Like, uh, the seam lines and so I don't know if I necessarily, now that I think about it, I don't, it's just so beautiful. Um, it is a very, very well done doll. Um. Again, and, and I've said I've said it before, I'll say it again, that I think Fairyland does an amazing job. Um, they're always coming out with new sculpts and new full sets. They're they're doing major innovations too. I know some people are like, oh, they all look alike. Well, yeah, I mean they have a similar aesthetic. They're made by the same sculptors, um, and they have their aesthetic for their brand. Uh, but they're, they, they innovate so much, like with the centaur bodies, um, the, the fairy line bodies. I, I really, I'm all about Fairyland. Um, I really do think that they are an amazing, um, company. Uh, and I, I don't know, I, I think calling a collection of 13 artists a company, <laughs> like I, I work in some places that have more people than that and I don't consider us a company so um yeah a studio like uh, it's it's a small studio so uh yeah so there's there's a uh, mini fee Maya guys uh let me know what you think um and I will catch you later thanks for watching bye bye